Hey everyone, so today I want to talk about Lost in Austin, which I have been meaning to watch forever. Finally I've managed to get around to doing it, and because I love, I love Jane Austen, her work, I kind of, I'm at a 50-50 split. I love three of the six, her six main novels, and the other three I'm kind of like, really, did I have to read that? But Jane Austen herself, I love the work of, um, I love what it's done for literature. So I love watching anything about her, you know, films, adaptations, TV shows, things like that. And this was a four-part TV show, each episode an hour long. And when I found out that I was focusing on Pride and Prejudice, I thought, yes, this is going to be perfect. Because that is my favourite Jane Austen novel. I think had it been about Sense and Sensibility or Mansfield Park, I kind of would have been like, ew, no thanks. But because it's about Pride and Prejudice, it's brilliant. Amanda, who um, is a modern-day character, this was released in 2008, Amanda finds herself trapped in the world of Pride and Prejudice because Elizabeth Bennet happens to come through, to come through to her bathroom through a secret door and Amanda goes through that secret door and is stuck in the Bennet's house while Elizabeth Bennet is stuck in the 21st century. So Amanda is in the Bennet's house and she watches the story of Pride and Prejudice unfold almost as if she's in the shoes of Elizabeth Bennet but she's not playing the role of Elizabeth Bennet, which may sound confusing, but it makes perfect sense when you watch it. She is just the friend, Amanda, who happens to be staying there, and as the story goes, Elizabeth Bennet is staying at Amanda's, Amanda's house in Hammersmith. And the story seems to be full unfolding as it should be for Pride and Prejudice, and the right characters are there, certain things are happening at the right time, but certain things aren't going quite to plan, and Amanda has to try and make sure that they do go to plan, Otherwise, you know, just make sure the right characters marry the right people. For those who have never read Pride and Prejudice, it's all about marriage. Marriage and money. It's brilliant. Um, so, while she's trying to make sure things go to plan, she's also getting in the way of a lot of things. So she's kind of responsible for making things happen, but also responsible for making things backfire. And it's, you're watching it thinking, right, this is going wrong. And then you watch it again and you think, actually, this is going brilliantly. And it, it does play with your head quite a lot, because one moment the plot is going fantastically to plan, and then the next moment it's not. So it, it's very, very brilliant and very, very well done. I think the characters make this perfect. and um, They're quite... Some of them are not what I thought they were going to be. Um, when I read Pride and Prejudice, you obviously have an image of the characters in your head. Some of them are not um, what I thought they were going to be, but first of all, Jemima, Jemima um, I think it's Rupert, plays Amanda. She is fantastic. I didn't think I was going to like her. It took me a couple of minutes to, to, to gel with the character, but pretty much a quarter of the way through the first episode, I started to think, yeah, actually, she's perfect. The actress is brilliant. Um, and, for, and seeing Amanda trying to cope in, in the early 1800s is brilliant, you know, because there's one thing in particular, I think it's the first or the second episode, where um, one of the Bennett sisters presents her with an, eight, uh, an 1800s, a 19th century toothbrush, which is not a toothbrush. And she just looks at it and kind of goes, okay. It, it's brilliant. It's really, it's, can you imagine just being sort of plopped 200 years early and trying to cope with life? It's a lot different to what we're used to. So she's brilliant. Um, three other actresses in this I actually know, um, know of. Ironically, they're all from Doctor Who, um, coincident. Um, so Alex Kingston, Alex plays um, Mrs. Bennett. She is the reason I initially went to watch this, which um, I was really looking forward to, and she is fantastic. However, she's not what I thought Mrs. Bennett looked like in my head. Mrs. Bennett doesn't look like her at all, but the character is done fantastically, and she is brilliant. Uh, Florence Hoth plays Kitty. Um, I guess she kind of kind of resembles Kitty a little bit to what I thought she'd be like to an extent. Um, Florence Hoth obviously played Nancy in, in Doctor Who and Christina Cole plays Carrie Knight Lilith played um, Caroline Bingley oh my goodness Caroline Bingley I hate but you're meant to hate her and I hated her in this but it was a love to hate thing so the cast is fantastic the acting is brilliant the development of the plot is spot on it's very true when necessary to the story and the bits that go wrong do work and it works perfectly. The script is fantastic. It's quite funny in a lot of parts, which is always, I didn't think it was going to be funny, but it is very, very funny. And the whole thing is just fantastic from start to finish. Um, it is on YouTube, but the DVD is also released. The DVD is about 10 or 11 pound, which I think is quite a lot, um, but it is on YouTube. So I will link it in the below bar for you if you wish to check that out. Um, but let me know your thoughts on Lost in Austin. I love it. I will watch it again. And it's not very often that I will watch a TV series like this 
again, the only other one I've watched again um, is Marshlands. Marshlands is the only other kind of four or five part series that I've watched again and I love that and actually Alex Kingston was in that one as well. That's quite weird. Yeah, but this is brilliant. Let me know your thoughts on this. If you know of any other kind of Jane Austen um, TV shows or films that you love, let me know. I'm going to be watching the Jane Austen Book Club at some point soon. Um, adaptations I'm not a big fan of, but that's, that goes for anything. I'm not a fan of adaptations that much. Let me know your thoughts and I'll see you all next time. Bye!